18 months ago, we started working on our dream gaming table. A massive Mordheim inspired city filled with fishing houses, rivers, underground gaming parks and all of the other awesome jazz that one can only dream about. Then as we got started, another project came in and took way more time than we had expected. And then another project took up way more time than we had expected. And then a third project came in and took way more time than we had expected. But we're finally here, ready to build the most insane gaming table I've ever dreamed of. So Lucas, what's our plan? I have no idea. You haven't read the script yet? No. <laughs> well, you know, since we were sent about $4,000 worth of Tabletop World's houses, rough estimated, we're gonna have to spend like 120 hours painting these bad boys. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Maybe it's a good idea to start painting the houses? Uh, I think you might be right. <laughs> the good thing is we already have a color scheme, so we kind of know what we should do. Lucas, we have a problem. We release a video every week. And if I did my calculations right, that means that we have to spend three weeks working on just painting houses for this video. I think we should call some friends. No. Yes. Okay, thankfully in Sweden we have a bunch of amazing painters. So we called up five great painter friends of ours for a full weekend of just painting and having fun with buddies. But to make this work and finish as much as possible in good time, we're going to have to make everything in an assembly line fashion. And even with these extra hands, I think it's going to be really tough to finish everything in just a weekend. Because let me introduce to you the amazing houses from Tabletop World. Not only are these houses some of the most well-designed fantasy houses that you can find that perfectly fits in with a moody fantasy setting, but they are also probably the most detailed fantasy houses that you can find. And as we've stated in our previous video from one and a half year ago, we want this table to look as awesome and as immersive as possible. Like you're playing in a real world where every detail, every wood beam, every pumpkin, every shield on the walls, every window has to be painted to high standard. Are we up for it? Well, I guess we'll find out. What the hell? Oh, good job. Yes. As all of our painting friends showed up, we did a quick introduction to the paint scheme and how everything was set up, and we were off to the races. A few of the guys started priming the houses with a soft zenithal prime as our first step in the painting process. We had set up four different painting stations where you could paint four different types of parts on the minis. And the legendary people that came to our rescue are Patrick Halberg, Isha Banks, Oscar Anju, Magnus Ekström and Secret Painter Man that for undisclosed reasons cannot be mentioned by name in this video. Apparently he's working for a big organization with a lot of secrets. Isha and I started airbrushing the contrast paints on the larger pieces. Isha had Alderi Emerald on all of the roofs and I, I got to spray Orc Flesh on all of the bricks. I spent the better part of the entire day just painting green on bricks. After some 4 or 5 hours of work, I could take a short break from just painting green on the walls to paint a little bit on our second painting table. Whenever anything had been sprayed by me and Isha on the first table, they were sent to table number 2 and 3. And the second table, it was dedicated to wood. Literally, just base coating wood. We had four chairs and people just constantly painting wood the entire weekend. There are so many wood beams and wood details on these houses, you have no idea. Luckily the contrast paint Wildwood is fantastic for painting wood. And we could get the base coat down with a breeze. 
And once the wood beams were painted, on our third table we had two different painting stations. One set up to paint metal details. And one where we painted the glowing windows. Again, I have to remind you guys, there are so many houses and so many details to paint. As the evening got closer, it felt like it was never ending. Whenever you had finished a part, someone came with a new one and it just never stopped coming. And as the evening got closer, the music got worse and the dance moves got... good? No matter how many parts you painted, there was always new houses coming in to be painted with the same details. And if you ran out of houses, you could paint fences, walls, towers, cottages, everything needed spraying and painting. And after eight hours of work, seven people total working, we weren't even close to halfway done with the houses. But there's a new day tomorrow. So yesterday we managed to finish quite a lot. As you can see, a lot of the houses are looking somewhat finished. Uh, or at least base coat and everything. It is taking so much time. I'm so happy we got the help we have yesterday. We're gonna come in in about 20 minutes and we're gonna continue painting all of the brown rims, all of the grays, and then start weathering and highlighting stuff. It's, this is going to take us more than two days. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna continue and when they drop in, we paint even more. As they two came along, everyone was hyped and excited to get in some more hours of gossiping and painting on houses. All right, my mission today is um, it's gonna be painting wood. Plaster on all of the walls. Painting wood's pretty much doing the luxury work. Some details, the airbrush. The wood and beams, I think. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. And the main challenge still remained to finish everything in a reasonable time and still make it look amazing and the painting commenced. Some people started working on more details like painting patterns on shields and copper details. While others, me included, kept working on just painting wood and bricks and roofing and windows. As the houses got painted, first with green bricks, then with blue roofing, brown wooden parts, then glowing windows, and lastly, gray plaster walls. They all started looking quite amazing. Not finished, but at least most of the parts had base coats on them. There was one major problem, however, that started showing up. With about 80% of the wood painted, the wildwood paint pots started running out. I think we're gonna run out of wildwood soon. <laughs> we're gonna paint all day tomorrow as well and there's a lot of wood left, so there's gonna be some wildwood hoarding, I think. Since it was a Sunday, there was no way for us to get new paints. So we had to start making our own witch brews. We found that mixing Black Legion and then just grabbing a bunch of like dipping inks from green stuff and like reddish brown express colors from Vallejo works kind of nice. So I'm just gonna mix some more, then we can continue our work. And as we do an awesome time lapse, painting more on these houses, let me mention this week's sponsor quickly. Because Into the AM makes some of the most amazing graphic t-shirts on the internet. If you've watched a bunch of our videos previously, you know that Lucas and I wear their shirts all the time and we love them. The t-shirts always have a good length for someone my height. And of course, the awesome print is a bonus. The quality is just not comparable to the stuff that you get at a fast fashion store. Right now you get three t-shirts for $61.95 and if you follow 
follow our link down below the like button, you get an additional 10% off your entire purchase, making your shirts really, really affordable. So if you guys want to dress well and have some nice fitting wear, just follow the link down below. Look just as fancy as I do. Now let's get back to the houses. Meanwhile, we went through the wildwood yesterday before we left and uh, we're dangerously low. So I stole one that I'm going to use because I'm still painting wood today. I've got a third of the houses left and, uh, you know, I want to be able to finish this. So I've got, I got my own pot here that I've stashed. You son of a bitch. We're having some issues because I'm shading all the houses currently because the Senator highlight was a bit bright in some areas but turns out we don't have a single drop of black ink left in the entire office. Right now we're working with all the uh, colors we can find and making them into like a, just a black. That's how math works, right? Can you see it, Maxim? Yeah. <laughs> the microphone wasn't on. After tumultuous hours grinding on the wood, the roofs, the details, the shading, and the toilet, this week was gone just as fast as it came. Our friends were leaving Umeå for their flights back home, leaving us with a mountain of work still ahead of us. And this time, we'd be without the custodians of darkness, without the people keeping us sane while painting. We're left alone now. It's only me and you, Lucas. We spent an additional five days painting accessories and details. The biggest time sink was definitely highlighting the wood parts, but also painting the details around the windows ended up taking far too many hours. With makeshift strategies and only energy drinks keeping us sane, we pushed through to the end of the week. We managed to put an insanely massive task together, only spending about 7-8 days total, slaying down this massive backlog beasts and setting us up for a massive success with the Mordheim table that we're gonna build in maybe a week or two or three in the future. So if you guys want to see us finish a massive gaming table that looks insanely cool, subscribe to the channel because you do not want to miss that but now you're gonna get a tiny reveal showing you just the houses and then we do the tables later get ready for a tiny reveal guys want to make sure that you are subscribed because this gaming table is going to be so lit and you do not want to miss that. Also if you want this video to be spread to new people don't forget to smash like. Massive thanks to this week's sponsor Into the AM for all of their amazing t-shirts. Also of course our patrons. You guys are amazing. 
that's it have a great day bye bye